it's got really good information about monarchs and if concern is that we're saving the monarch butterfly is the topic of discussion for Harmony Lewis's fourth grade writing class at O.H. Anderson Elementary in Matamidi, Minnesota, just outside Minneapolis. Let's see, let's finish off this paragraph. These students are learning about the beautiful orange and black butterfly that is on the decline by 90% in recent years as the result of numerous threats, particularly a loss of habitat or milkweed due to agricultural practices, development and cropland conversion, in addition to degradation of wintering habitat in Mexico and California. The lesson, it definitely makes writing more interesting, is heartfelt and unforgettable. It makes me feel sadder or worried about their population that, I don't know, we might not have the monarchs anymore. Oh, I really like that how it's interesting that they fly back to fly down to Mexico and then come come back up to Minnesota in different generations. It's super exciting to be able to see them so engaged and to see that they're learning something that it's not just because it's a necessity for a grade, that they really enjoy learning about monarchs. From the classroom to community groups, federal and state agencies, nationwide partnership efforts to support the monarch are going strong. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service will fund numerous conservation projects totaling $2 million to restore and enhance more than 200,000 acres of habitat for monarchs while also supporting more than 750 schoolyard habitats and pollinator gardens. Several of the projects will focus on the I-35 corridor from Texas to Minnesota areas that provide important spring and summer breeding habitats in the eastern population's central flyway. Some states, such as Minnesota, also have the monarch listed in their state wildlife action plans. These plans assess the health of each state's wildlife and habitats, identify problems they face, and outline actions that are needed for long-term conservation. Jane Norris with the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources says the monarch butterfly is listed in the Minnesota plan. It will allow us to use state wildlife grants funding to support efforts for that uh, spe particular species. And it just um, kind of heightens the awareness of the concern for that species. But the other thing that's nice about the monarch as a species of greatest conservation need, it's a species many people know. A lot of our species on our list people aren't familiar with. So to the extent that we have some of these species that people are very familiar with, it brings forward the cause of a number of other species with it. The monarch is one of the nation's best known butterfly species with its remarkable migrations from Mexico across the United States to Canada. As partnership support thrives for this butterfly, it's our youth, our future conservationists who are eager to help make a big difference. If you got milkweed, save them please. It's kind of fun that now they're sharing things with their families too that they feel pride in knowing information about monarchs. In Minnesota, Kim Benton, Wildlife and Sport Fish Restoration Program, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, Department of the Interior.